first thing you gotta do is actually to make sure that you have your footage on your computer so if you haven't already got it uh, you have to put in the SD card over every card you have uh, in the uh, SD card reader on your computer so I'm putting in mine now and it should uh, show up here on the desktop you can see right here it is to the right uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to my iMovie application and um, if you're looking here to the where I'm holding my the mouse cursor right now to the left this is my iMovie library so this is uh, my previous project so to speak uh, my previous videos that I been working with so as we want to do a new video so what you want to go ahead and do now is to uh, right click um, under my previous projects here and uh, choose new event so you can actually go ahead and put a name in here I'm not going to do that because I like to have the dates like this so I have a quick view of when I did the project so I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, on the side of this one right here so that it's getting highlighted like this so now you can see it's today's date right here uh, make sure it's uh, you know highlighted so what you can do now is to go ahead and uh, and hit the import media because you want to put in your your media in the workspace here so that you can work with it and edit the video go ahead and click that one right there if you have uh, the SD card in your computer it should show up right here under cameras or you know uh, devices or you know wherever you have your your media so if you're having uh, your footage somewhere else you got to go and find it uh, by just clicking on the uh, Macintosh HD or whatever in my case you can see that the uh, AOS di digital is highlighted and that's where my media are so if I want to choose a uh, if I want to go ahead and choose a, a you know a, a clip here that I want to edit, I can just go ahead and um, click on it and choose import selected. Or if I unclick it uh, so that no one is highlighted, it says down here import all. So if I want to import all of these videos right here, I just go ahead and choose import all. But for now, I'm happy with just having this one right there. So I'm importing selected. And you can see this uh, little clock here uh, on the video that's telling me how far the, uh, it's imported. Uh, I usually go ahead and wait until it's all imported because then I know I can work with it. So if you would import all the videos, all of them would uh, be right here. So now once it's imported, uh, this one will show up right here to the right. And I just go ahead and, and close that one for now. So down here you have the timeline and that's where the magic is going to happen. That's where you're going to work with this clip right here. So I just um, I click and drag this one, uh, click and hold and drag this one over to here to the time lapse. I just drop it right there and uh, if you're looking right here where my mice, the mouse cursor is right now you can go ahead and drag this one to the to the right or to the left so uh, you know the the size of the project getting bigger when I'm doing like that if you kind of like when to work with uh, you know kind of like seconds it's very important exactly where to make that cut or you know uh, anything like that you can see when this car is coming right here I want to cut exactly in the correct frame or wherever uh, in my case I'm not gonna be so precise so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one on the second step right here so this is the first one this is the second one okay so this is just a, a basic tutorial I just want to make some few cuts I want to make some 
uh, some text at the end and maybe some some text at the beginning and maybe some transitions so let's dig into this right here uh, let's say I want to make a cut uh, you know I want to make a cut just around uh, let's see here yeah I want to make a cut right there and I want to tell you something that uh, to start and stop this cursor right here you just use the space bar on your keyboard so the space bar is actually start and stop so I'm hitting my space bar on the keyboard now and the video starts I'm hitting it again and it stops okay uh, so now I just go ahead and right click exactly where the cursor is like so I want to split this clip into two pieces uh, if you should uh, taking a look here on the pop-up uh, on, the, on the screen here in the menu it said split clip so I'm choosing split clip right there and BAM you can see that this one is made two clips right here so if you decided well this is not a good idea I want to put them back to one clip again just go ahead and and hold down the the shift key on your keyboard the, at the same time as you're clicking on the the footage that is not highlighted you can see here this one is highlighted with yellow and this one is not so I'm holding down the shift keyboard on my keyboard the, the shift key on my keyboard and clicking the non highlighted video you can see now I can draw I can drop the, the key now and um, these two are highlighted what I can do now is go up to the modify menu uh, and right here you can see join clips so join clips will put these ones back together to one so, uh, to one clip again I'm choosing join clip and wow there you go it's back to to one right there you can see that you need to click where you want it to the cursor to be so I, I want a click uh, I want uh, a split right there something else that you can do is uh, actually you don't have to you don't have to highlight both of both of these one and one other thing you can do is go to edit menu and choose undo split and it's back to one again okay so I want to continue edit my video now uh, split clip okay now I want a transition uh, in between these two if you go up here to trans transitions uh, you have uh, several transitions right here uh, you can put the mouse cursor on top of them to see and drag a little bit to see how they all working and uh, depending on which one you would like to have uh, you can actually just go ahead and this one is what I'm going to use click hold and drag to in between these two clips right here and let go of the mouse and there you go so I'm putting uh, putting the cursor right there I'm, I'm hitting the space bar on the keyboard there you go you see that yeah uh, that's exactly what, what this is for right here so I want to make another click uh, uh, split here so I'm clicking on where the courses should be I'm hitting uh, the I'm doing a right click making another split right here and then I want to delete a part here so let's say I want to delete from here to here so what I'm going to do is actually click uh, once again to get the cursor right there right, uh, left, uh, right click and choose split clip again now this piece right here I want to cut out so what I'm doing is actually a right click again and choose cut because I want to cut, cut it out I want to take it away 
what I also can do is uh, you choose delete but in my case I'm choosing the cut so you can see that it's gone now and uh, I want to make a transition here again so I'm dragging this one right over here in between there so let's go ahead and see what it looks like now did you see that So you just, uh, this cursor will follow your mouse, so it doesn't really matter where, where you have it, as long as you have it right there, or wherever, and press, uh, hit the space bar on the computer, you can see that the video starts. So, that's a, I think that's a cool feature actually. Uh, it's a cool feature. So, uh, I want to make a... Uh, some text and you can go ahead and choose the titles right here titles here you have uh, very cool titles you can go ahead and put the mouse on top of them uh, to be able to see what it's looking like uh, if you want anything kind of like a little bit flashy uh, you can go ahead and choose whatever you want to do actually um, I think I'm gonna go ahead with uh, let's see here this one hold and drag this one to the, the very end of the video and drop it right there uh, the text is highlighted right here as you can see so just go ahead and type whatever you want uh, thanks for watching or I could choose the end click um, outside of this uh, text area right here and there you have it right there if you want to make this a little bit shorter it's about four seconds right now so uh, I want to make a transition here as well uh, I'm choosing this one just drag it on there so I get a smooth uh, ending there we go the end this is what it's looking like and now because this transition is one second this one is three seconds so if you want to make it shorter or longer just click on the the text here and you can drag it to be as long as you want or uh, as short as you want uh, I think I would be happy on about let's say four seconds yeah the end so now I want something at the very beginning of the video so I go back to titles uh, I'm going to uh, I'm usually choosing this first one but you can go ahead and choose whatever you want actually this one is cool because there's a lot of text in there so I just uh, drag it to the very, very beginning here and drop it right there and the text is highlighted uh, so I can just go ahead and uh, type in some words here. Rally championship. Uh, double click this so you, that you can uh, choose a text here as well. Just rally in my case. And click three times here. And you can... Uh, this is cool what you can do now go ahead and click outside of the text area like so and the text is uh, the intro so to speak is done so of course I want a transition in between the intro and the video so I'm going back to transition choosing uh, something a little bit different uh, something from the side perhaps perhaps this one because the sweep is to the right so I'm dragging this one to the very beginning here after my intro and letting go of it uh, I want the intro to be four seconds like so I'm putting the cursor at the very beginning like this and hitting the space bar rally championship rally this is cool there we go 
So this is my new intro right here. I think this is actually pretty cool. Now, uh, this is very basic and a few cuts and all that kind of stuff going on. There will be, uh, you know, this is something good for you to work with for basic video editing and you just created a very, very simple video. Uh, now you want to export it, this video. Go to the right upper corner right here and uh, there is a little box here that says share, okay? Uh, you go ahead and click that one and you have various types of things here but I think you would want to go ahead and save it as file. So you're choosing file and this one will show up. Uh, you can give the video a name now. Uh, Rally Championship. And this is where you have to do some thinking. You can see that the resolution 1080p and quality high, uh, the video is 587 megabytes. Well, that's not a lot. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and do that. However, if you have a, a much a bigger video file you have been editing, let's say 10 minute video, uh, in the full the resolution of 1080p and the quality high, this you can see that this would probably be two or three gigabytes. So that's a very big video. So if you want to decrease that because you don't have a very fast internet connection, uh, you can actually go ahead and click right here and choose 720p. Uh, and you can see that it's getting smaller. And also if that is not enough, you can actually go ahead and put the quality to medium and you can see it decreasing even more. So you can play around with this a little bit if you know that you don't have a fast internet connection and it will take two or three hours to upload uh, two or three gigs. You can actually play around a little bit with this. In my case, I'm choosing the 1080p and high because uh, this is not very much uh, to, you know, this is not a big file right there. You're choosing the next. Uh, here you choose where on the computer you want to save all this. Uh, I want to choose the desktop so it's simple to find. And this is the name of the video and you go ahead and choose save. Uh, now, if you're looking where my mouse cursor is, this is where you can see how much it's, it's exported the video. So in just a little moment, this will start to tick right here and it will, you can see now, it's actually exporting this video. And uh, this will take some, a little time. If you have a video file that is kind of two or three gigs or so, this will take quite some time depending on the speed on your computer actually. So this video was only kind of like a little bit under sec uh, 600 meg megabytes. This, this will probably take, um, I would say a minute or two or something like that. the video is exported this little window will show up that's saying share successful uh, you go ahead and close that one and now you can actually minimize the uh, the iMovie window and here you can see this is the rally video right here so that's basically some very simple editing of how to make a few cuts and an intro with text and an outro with text and some uh, cuts in between them with transition and how you import video and how you export video. 
Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye then. Mm -hmm.